Hi guys, I'm Jay. Welcome to plot number 12. Uh, just gonna put some seed out for the birds. I'll come back in, make a brew, and I'll tell you what we're up to today. Alright guys, a um, bit of an impromptu day off work, some stuff's come up, I basically had to, I had a bit of running about to do this morning, I've got a good couple of hours free now, and then I've got to be somewhere later on, so I thought I'd have a couple of hours here while I've got the day off, uh, unfortunately it's wet and horrible, so the outside jobs that I needed to get done, probably aren't going to get done today might have a look at tackling the inside of the greenhouse at least it's dry in there I do need to do a little bit of digging in there hopefully it's dry enough to crack on with that uh, until now uh, I had to tidy up in the shed the other day uh, and although it's a tool the tools are hanging behind me uh, whilst, I've, whilst it's horrible and I can't do much outside Let's make that a bit better. So, with the din rail that we used for doing the flue, or for hanging the flue for the chimney, uh, I'm gonna make a set of hangers for the, for the tools to sit on. Uh, oh, there's basically, it's the same as the, how I did the thing. We just put the bolts through it. That'll screw to the wall. The bolts will stick through. And we've got some hangers there. I've not got enough bolts to do the full length, but if I get one piece up, see what it looks like, and I'll get some more hardware and finish the rest of it off another day. So I'll get on with this, and I'll see you in a bit. Right, so I'll just show you how we're doing it. These bolts, thin rail, put the bolt through, we'll chuck on a washer, a spring washer so it don't come loose, and a nut. Wind that up. and then it'll sit in like that and we can hang a tool between each section. So I'll just finish bolting these up and then we'll hang it on the wall. All right, so that's done. So as you see behind me, everything that was all the way along is now just there. So I'll take it up and show you. Everything sits there. And so I'm gonna put another one along here and I might put another one on the end for hanging coats and bags and that on. I know when, especially when the kids are here, it gets a, a little bit claustrophobic in here. Every time you want something, you've got to move something to get to it. So we'll get them hung up. Uh, yeah, let's have a look at the greenhouse. Right guys, I'm gonna make a, put a raised bed in the greenhouse. Uh, I've got a few of these boards, well, I've got a lot of these boards actually, so we can chop and change it a bit so we get one that fits. Basically, I'll show you now, let me spin you around. So I've got these longer boards and these ones that are a bit shorter. If we do long, short, long, along that side of the greenhouse, it doesn't, it almost fills it. Let's show you. So if I stand here, so look at that, it almost fills it. There's a gap at the top, so when I put ends on it, it should fit neatly in there. I'm going to join, make something like that to stake it into the ground. I'm just going to sit on the ground, so once it's in, it's in. Right, uh, yeah, I'll get back to you in a minute. Right, so as you can see behind me, guys, it's the length of the greenhouse. Them stakes will get driven into the floor. It's all screwed to them at the minute. I'm just going to measure the end, put the end pieces on, and then drive them in and build the front and draw the front up to it. Right, guys, so that's the bed in. A uh, little hiccup along the way, how I put the spikes, the stakes, onto the cross bits and banged it in, it made an absolute nightmare banging them in. I mean, only cutting them to a V to one, you know, straight across and not to a point in the middle, it dragged them across. So we've come a bit skewed with at the end, but 
the tomatoes aren't going to mind that, are they? So, uh, I'm going to make a brew and then I might get this side of the floor covered. Right guys, well that's the bed sorted in the greenhouse. I don't know whether to, with regards to filling it, I'm not sure what's going to be the best way to go down. Do I just go and, you know, just go B&Q and load up on compost? Or do I just look at, you know, it's payday tomorrow. I could get a ton of manure and a ton of compost delivered. That might be the best way. I might have a look around later, see what prices we can get for it. Uh, I've got about an hour and a half before I need to go. Uh, I was half tempted to put some wood chip in the bottom of the raised bed, just fill it a bit that way. I've still got a few paths to do. And I've said one of the neighbours can have a bit as well, so I don't want to use all, all of what I've got. Um, but to be fair, like I say, I've got an hour and a half before I need to be anywhere. I might just sit here and just enjoy being here, not having anything to do for a bit, just chill out. Uh, Seems recently, every time I've come down, I've come down to do something. I've not just come down to come down, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I've got the fire on. I think I'm just going to sit here for a bit, look out the window, watch the bird feeders, and... Uh, yeah, chill out. Uh, oh, while well, I was doing the greenhouse, uh, a bloke from the council came down. Not the not the main man. Uh, I sent one of like, the parks and gardens people out. Uh, they just check all the taps are still working. And obviously he was taking pictures of, there's a plot further down. It is occupied, but uh, he was taking a few pictures of it. I don't know what that's about, but uh, as he was checking the tap at the top of our plot, uh, just chat, a little chat with him, just, how you doing mate, and, and whatnot, um, he said that we got on about the waiting lists, and he said I was, I was seven years for a plot to come up on here, they offered me one at five and a half years, but it was at a site, the other side of town, how our council do it with a waiting list. It's just one big waiting list for every site. Well, there's not, there's, there's no sites my side of town. This is the closest one. And luckily, it's on my commute to work. Uh, but they offered me one originally at five and a half years on, waiting, on the waiting list across the other side of town. And back then, it was like, I said, I said well, I've been on the list five and a half years. So I said, any chance can I stay on the list? and wait for one to come up here, what's another couple of years sort of thing. Uh, so then anyway, they said, yeah, but um, as I was chatting to the bloke about it, I'd mentioned that when I first put on the list, I gave it a year and then emailed and said, oh, can I have an update? Whereabouts am I on the list? And the answer I got seven years ago, well, eight years ago now nearly, was you are, 280 on a list of 360. Well, the bloke there now, he said there's a thousand people on the waiting list. So if there's a thousand people now, and it took me five and a half years from being first offered a plot, when there was only 360 on the list, well, you can triple that, can't you? You're looking at 15 years for a... 15 years on the waiting list for a plot in Warrington. Now, if, if you recently joined the list, which I think a lot of it is during lockdown, people have joined on the list. Uh, he said they're trying to see what they can do. There's plots that they've got to clear before they, they rent out. Now, there's a plot across the way from, it sort of straddles mine and my neighbours across the way from us. Rich next door, I said, I think he's been on here 10 years and he said he's never known it to be a plot for anyone. And it's just ended up a dumping ground. Uh, we've got a few ideas of who's dumping it, dumping the rubbish on there and that. But uh, there's no fence on it. Someone robbed the fence. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's just ended up a dumping ground. 
But you know, if I'd have been, with me being on the list for five years, if the councillor said, look, we've got this, we've not cleared it, we've not had a chance to clear it yet, we'll give you free rent for, for two years, and a skip, as many skips as you need to, to get rid of it. You know, I'd have, I'd have snapped their hand off for that. I, I can't understand why they're not offering it to people, or if they are offering it to people, and they're not wanting it, I, I don't know, I can't get my head around it. Uh, but no, if you're in Warrington and you're on the waiting list, uh, happy waiting, because by the sounds of it, you, it's going to be on there a while. So yeah, anyway, so I'm just going to chill out here, finish my brew, have something to eat. And yeah, I think I'm just going to chill out for the rest of the last hour I've got being here. Just enjoy being down here. So uh, yeah, if you've, if you've watched this far, uh, thanks for sticking around. Uh, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe if you're into all that. And I'll say um, I've had a lot of private messages and that from, from people I know saying they enjoy watching. So cheers for watching, guys. Uh, perks my day up a bit when I see your messages like. So uh, no, nice one for that. Uh, so yeah, like I said, I'm going to sit here, chill out, and I'll see you in the next one. See you later.